our beach trip. Mm, this is it. Oceanfront Hotel is, is a tent. <laughs> our restaurant's in our car. And we take a nice warm shower there in the shit house. <laughs> guys today is Sunday um, June 24th today is my husband's birthday and it's also my cousin's anniversary so I'm gonna try to like remember to wish her a happy one year anniversary but um, I just remember last year because we went to her wedding down at the camp and it was so much fun and it's hard to believe that that was a year ago and it was honestly the like the last weekend before we went to the beach <laughs> and it just it's crazy to think that like almost a year ago I got pregnant with Cole so like yeah it's just crazy to think that that it's been a year since I got pregnant like that's crazy but anyways um I'm having coffee the usual um and I'm also making me a bagel I think it's done but um I really like this cream cheese spread it's called cookie butter from Walmart and I really like it it's really good so highly recommend and it is that is the time right now we got up a little earlier than usual but Cole slept till five um, my husband actually kept him last evening while I went to the movies with my mom and dad and we went and watched the new Jurassic World movie which was really good if you guys have not seen it I highly recommend it and obviously you probably want to watch um, the last one to like know like a little bit about this one I guess I'm always like knowing what's going on I don't like to watch like a second chapter if I haven't watched the first so I do recommend that you watch the other one before you watch this one but yeah I've always liked the Jurassic Park movies like I grew up watching those but honestly there were so many like small kids in there last night that it like surprised me that those little kids watch that because um, when I was a kid I was scared to death of the first one like the T-Rex dinosaur like scared the crap out of me so there's, there's just like little kids sitting in there like just not even phased by it. It's crazy. Like my mom said, now kids grow up watching like all these crazy horror movies and it don't really phase them. And it's just crazy because compared to like when I was a kid, what scared me and then what my mom used to scare her, like the stuff obviously she grew up that used to scare her. Like um, I was trying to think of a good one, <laughs> but like just like things that I would think was stupid and not scary actually scared my mom when she was little and then the things it's just crazy how the generation changes I don't know I don't know why I'm talking about this but anyways um so we're having a cold staring at me right now what are you doing over there he just um ate but he didn't finish his bottle because his eating schedule is a little off this morning because he ate at five and I don't think he was quite ready to eat yet but he was kind of fussing this morning so I fed him a little bit, but he didn't finish at all. So now I think he's just tired still um, because he's just kind of fussing a little bit more. So I don't know if we're going to go take our walk. I really want to, but I don't know. But I've been walking. And yesterday I think I did like eight laps, which is pretty good. But I am starving because last night all I had was movie theater popcorn. Not healthy, but that's all I had to eat. And I'm like starving. Because we didn't have time to go get dinner anywhere because we were going to be late. It was kind of like a last minute decision to go to the movies. But guys, I had such a good time because it's been a while. I think the last movie I went and watched was the Winchester movie with my mom. And I was pregnant obviously then. But I always love going to the movies. It's like one of my favorite things to do. My husband doesn't really enjoy it. He's not really a movie person. Um, he's just not a movie buff. But I love movies. So like I wanted to go, my mom and dad like to watch movies too, so it was a good time. So today we're having a cookout for my husband's birthday. We're gonna go up to my mom's, I think. We might get in there, I might get in their swimming pool because yesterday it looked so nice. And it looks like it's gonna be a nice day. I hope it stays this way and doesn't rain. Tomorrow um, is my husband's day, like tomorrow me and him are gonna celebrate his birthday just to have a good day. And we might go to Trout Pond, so I definitely will vlog for you guys. And we are, I'm also going to take him to the Lost River Grill, which is a really good restaurant that I took him for our anniversary. And yeah, I'm really excited about tomorrow. So um, I'm also excited about today. Just, just, I don't know, just glad that hopefully he gets off early today is what I'm hoping because he had to work, which was sad. But this morning I put 
his birthday card inside his lunch pail because I knew he'd be opening it up but last night I put it in there and I put like good morning on the envelope and da 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 da, da. so he woke up to a nice card a little surprise and this is the card that my mom and dad got him yeah like what the heck <laughs> Anyways, um, I also bought him a cake last night at Food Line. His favorite kind of cake is angel food cake. So I bought one pre-made, got the strawberries, Cool Whip, and strawberry glades for it. So that's like his favorite kind of cake. So um, he didn't really look in the bag in the refrigerator. So I don't think he really knows. My husband is not one of them people that like needs to know a surprise. Um, so yeah. And I don't like to know what surprises are either, so, and I'm not going to show you guys much of me because I am honestly in my underwear. <laughs> so I'm going to go and eat my breakfast, but we will talk to you guys a little later. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to go to our cookout shindig. <laughs> is that even a word? I think it is, like, shindig. I feel like that's a West Virginia word or some shit. But anyway. <laughs> My husband got home early today for his birthday. He got here about three, which was awesome because he never gets here that early anymore. Um, Cole is fighting sleep. Oh my God, you guys. I've had the heck of a time with him today and fighting sleep and it's crazy. I put some coconut oil on his head to help with his dry um, scalp. He just got like really dry flakes in his head. Uh, his whole entire skin is dry, much like mine and Scott's skin, so. Um, I've just been like trying, trying to uh, help this baby go to sleep today and he's went to sleep earlier but I had to keep putting the pacifier in like three or four times when he'd wake up but he would go back to sleep. So yeah, I just patted out some hamburgers. My husband's daughter is supposed to come over but she's going to be a little late because she was going to watch Jurassic World so we're going to go up to my parents. <laughs> So my dad can cook for Scott for his birthday and he's out mowing the yard right now. I wanted to get that done since he got home early. Um, he's definitely one of those guys that's got to keep on top of the lawn. So he's out mowing. And um, so yeah, it's still pretty nice out, which is cool. We might have a fire tonight in the backyard, but I don't know. I always say we might do it and then we never do it. But um, that's just because normally by the time it gets dark, we're ready to go to bed and I like to sleep when Cole sleeps obviously so I can get rest and he normally gets up at like four or five today it was five and we didn't come out until seven though because he went back to sleep for a little bit he normally does go back to sleep but um <laughs> I'm excited for whenever he can sleep a little like all the way through and not get up so that way maybe he'll be more refreshed for the day I feel like he just doesn't like to nap. Like, I'm just having like the hardest time. And I think maybe I'm probably not catching his sleep window. Um, like he gets overtired and maybe that's why he's having such a hard time with it. But like, you guys, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, there's just a lot going on. Like, I don't know. I need to start paying more attention to when he gets tired. I normally try to and like, Right when I like notice that he yawns or anything, I'll try to like let him go to sleep and it sometimes it works but sometimes it don't work and this it just seems like the last past five days it's been really difficult because he's just like fighting it to the point where like it takes forever for him to finally go to sleep and like right now obviously he's tired again and he's not going to go to sleep because we have to go up here and I don't know what to do and it's like uh, I have a notion to freaking put him in the car and drive like a little bit down the road so he'll go to sleep because he just needs to go to sleep and that was my laundry alarm I gotta put the laundry into the dryer so yeah that's how my freaking day has been um just just frustrating you know but that's mom life for you so I try to be patient as I can but like um I'd be lying if I told you guys that sometimes I get a little impatient and I get a little frustrated, but um, I just try to like stay calm and like remember that he's just a baby and it's not his fault. And I wanna try to help him the best that I can because I'm his mother, but it's just like, go to sleep, you know? <laughs> I wish he would just go to sleep. <laughs> he's fighting it so bad right now. Um, yeah, somehow I was able to get the hamburger done. I made my husband's cake earlier today. I'll have to show it to you guys, but it looks pretty freaking bomb. 
So um, throw these clothes in here real quick. Show you the cake. Oh, i loud. What the heck? I'll show you the cake real quick. But yeah, it's angel food cake with strawberry glaze, strawberries, and Cool Whip. But yeah, looks pretty bomb. Hell yeah, just got my coffee. Got caramel hazelnut latte with almond milk and whipped cream. What'd you get, sir? A goo. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. I really wanted a hash brown. Make a doodle, sir, man. Make a doodle cake. That's okay. But they should have somebody in that little. Last year they Bring had somebody out. in there. Get fresh blow those feed, detach envelope stub. Detach envelope stub. This one must be the envelope stub here. Put that on the dashboard, okay. Okay. What, do I gotta fill this out? Yeah, you gotta put it in the thing over there. Today's date, what's the date, babe? The Number 25th? 25. 6, 25 of 18. Hey, Troy. Sorry. Troy's money. Thank you, Troy. But that, does it say the fee on there? Yeah, $3, three dollars a head, so yeah. 6 bucks. Mm -hmm. Well, next time we know. Huh? You got this for our window? Right. Mm, this is your permit. We have to fill okay. that out too. Oh. I have to fill it out? Let me see what it says here. I think you just put it up in your thing. Attach for stuff, purchase date. No, I just put it up in there. Look, I gotta do with that. Well, oh well, we donated $4 extra. <laughs> Why? What's going on? Stupid strings in the way. Oh, it'll be fun when we can bring Cole here. Yeah, sure. Won't it? Time here. Walk on the trail here. Yeah, he'll like it here. They even have a, a playground up before you come in. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh. <laughs> well, that's good to know that because I'll probably need to use that. Um, we can go on the sand if you want. What? Huh? Well, good. Then we'll bring that. Look at this little kid. This little kid's then. Of course, it has to be windy. Oh, I forgot what it looked like here. It's pretty. Was it in the grass? I like, kind of remember coming here as a kid, but. over there. This is our beach trip. Mm, this is it. Oceanfront Hotel is a tent. <laughs> our restaurant's in our car. And we take a nice warm shower there in the shit house. <laughs> Yay. 
Oh, there's all kind of little kids down there. We have, we have look at this little kid. A whole bunch since last year. Look at the little boy with the rat. Look at the green. Look at him. He's ready. Look at the little girl. Look she go. I can't wait. It'll be fun when Cole gets that big. Mm -hmm. Next year. I think Cole will learn to swim fast, don't you? He'll be a water dog. The grass is still wet. It's a pretty day. So yeah, the trick is to come on a weekday. Less people here. Well, some kind of early too. Well, yeah, they, true. They, they it is the, early. The camp will start rolling now. He might get a little busy this afternoon. We should really consider doing that. Fishing the tent. Yeah, I would like to do that. It's at seven. You cook it out all the time, but you go always get out to that that restaurant. For, for a nice dinner for you to you get What, the one that I'm going to take you to? Yeah, you get tired of it. Is it just what? Half hour away, maybe? It's, you know where we pulled in right yeah. to go? You mm -hmm. just go on down there and it's right there yeah. on the left. Yeah, so you get up about 20 minutes out of this place. Yeah. I wonder if they got hot water and stuff for showers. The showers in the, in the shit house. <laughs> of course, my husband doesn't need to jump in. He's crazy. I'm not hot enough yet. I can't do it. It's cold. trout pond now looking rough I got a little burnt my battery's going dead so I gotta charge the battery up um, so I can maybe vlog tomorrow or something to finish off the vlog because um I don't really know how much footage I've gotten because <laughs> I can't ever remember what I vlog isn't that sad so but it makes it funner when I go to edit the video because then I get to look back on what I did and it's really fun when I get to edit so anyways I also need to get started on my morning routine video that I want to edit of me and Cole our morning routine so that's really exciting because I think that it's probably going to be a cute little video so look at this guys my flowers are so popping like these rose bushes are huge now these popped these black eyed Susans look at those those are beautiful and yeah i can't even believe right now like i don't even know i probably got some new stuff growing in here i don't even know what that crap is but this thing is ginormous all that stuff down there is doing so good but yeah me and my husband really had a good time at drop pond today yesterday was his birthday so today was like his birthday day number two you know can't celebrate too many days normally when we have our birthdays we celebrate the whole weekend or something but um so today was his relaxation day, his only day off until next Monday because um, the assistant manager where he works at is on vacation so my husband has to work a lot which sucks but it's just like a really small store so there isn't a lot of help there. So I'm really glad that he got the day off and we had a little break today. We were able to go and enjoy ourselves at Trout Pond. There were so many kids there. So um, I was so like the whole time we were there and I was watching those kids, they were having so much fun. I was just like making me excited for when Cole gets bigger and we can take him and do things like that. Um, I don't know. It's just exciting to think about. There's also another place that I would like to take Cole like when he gets old enough, another little sandy beach area, but um, it's out on the mountain. But um, I can't, like I just like I'm so excited to be able to do things with Cole when he gets bigger because it looks like a lot of fun. Um, cause right now, you know, he's still really little he, and he's just not able to do things yet. He's still just very like relying, relying on you to, you know, you have to basically be at his every call, every, 
all the time and I'm just excited for whenever he can like be a little more independent and then also just to be able to play like to play with him like that's going to be so fun and exciting to go do things and share all those new experiences and memories with him but um anyways so I'm getting ready to actually go pick him up he's at my grandparents house and um, they said that he's done really well today that he's took really good naps today didn't fight sleep for them imagine that every time he goes up there he sleeps good so I don't know guys I guess it makes me feel like a bad mother <laughs> no, no uh, I think what happens is I miss his sleep window sometimes and I don't get him down quick enough for a nap. My aunt said that she laid down with him today and he went off to sleep really fast. So that might be another trick that I need to try to do. I have like laid beside him before to try to get him to go to sleep. And, but he has no issues at nighttime. It's amazing. Like he sleeps the whole entire night. And like whenever you get him down for sleep, me and my husband, like last night we had like a little time alone out on the living room after he went to bed. Because we know like once he goes to bed, he's he's done like at least until 5 30 or so in the morning is when he wakes up and he's normally pretty hungry so i feed him and then he went back down and then we didn't get out of bed till eight o'clock this morning we were so lazy but the sun took it out of me today and now i'm just really like tired and exhausted but i'm ready to go get my boy now because i've missed him i can't wait to see him so that is what i'm doing hi guys so it is tuesday 11 30 so um we just got done eating a bottle cole took a nap this morning for about an hour i caught his napping window perfectly today he's currently loading his diaper up you guys i gave him prune juice this morning he already pooped once but it was only like a little hard log and i'm pretty sure he just took a huge crap <laughs> so I'm gonna have to change another poopy butt, but um, I'm glad because he needs to poop. So um, pretty sure that's what he just did. Are you pooping? Are you pooping? Hi. You watching Kristen? I was watching Kristen Casper a while. I was feeding him, and he likes the kids. He watches on some of the uh, people's vlogs that I watch. He likes the little kids. He watches them. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, see, we're not doing much. We actually want to go take a walk. It's still really cloudy out this morning and really cool. We normally do it early, but just haven't got to. We kind of got up late today. So we're going to go take a walk, but first I'm going to have to clean his butt. I was going to walk up to my mom's, but I'm pretty sure she might have just went, be went back down the hill. So I'm not really sure what she's doing. So I'm going to give her a call first before we walk up there. But, um, we're going to go outside for a little bit and just go for a walk he'll probably be tired again soon so oh no i think he needs his butt change so i'm gonna go yeah bye guys hey guys good afternoon it is um wednesday <laughs> um the 20 something the 20 i honestly don't know the date guys i never know the freaking date and um it's sad <laughs> but this is like the life of like not doing anything well you know like besides taking care of my son which I know is a job but you know what I'm saying like not going to work anymore I never can keep up with the days and like the dates and all that kind of stuff like I used to be able to because like I don't really need to be anywhere <laughs> so me and Cole are headed to town right now we are going to go walk we did not get to walk this morning because when we got up it just was really cloudy and looked like it was going to storm, which it did storm. Um, I got my bedroom and my bathroom cleaned today, and I got the office cleaned. I went ahead and did that because I don't like to be consumed with cleaning all day for two days in a row, which was, which what was happening to me on my regular clean days, like Thursday and Friday, I like to clean in my house. Like you guys, if you guys have been following me and watching my videos for a long time, you guys know that. Um, that I always clean the back part of my house on Thursday and then the outer part on Fridays. And I just like, with Cole right now, I'm, it honestly takes me forever <laughs> to get done. And I don't like that because it takes away time from him as well. And I don't like spending all that time like cleaning whenever I feel like, you know, he should be getting my attention. And I'm um, not that he like minds being by himself. He's totally good 
being on his own and everything and he it's not like I have to hold him all day or anything or he fusses he's not like that but it still just makes me feel kind of bad like I feel like I shouldn't be like cleaning for just an amount of time I try to hurry up though I do try to hurry to get done and my house isn't that big so it doesn't really take a long long like I don't know how to explain it it just takes longer than what it used to take me is what I'm trying to say I used to be able to get done in like a couple hours and now it takes like twice as long and I don't like that so I did get a little bit done today so tomorrow all I have to do literally is clean up in his room a little bit which not very much because we don't really go in his room a whole, whole bunch. Like, I, we go in there every day to get getting dressed and we kind of lay him in his bed to get used to it. But as far as like, are we really in there a lot, like tearing toys out and stuff, he's not big enough to do that. So I don't really feel like we have to, I have to like do a start strict cleaning in there every week because we're not really in there. But I do want to vacuum it because um, we were kind of in there tracking the carpet up, so I do want to do that, and yeah, I don't know what else. And clean the hall bathroom, and then that's literally all I have to do. I mop the hallway, and I'm done tomorrow, so it won't take me that long, which I'm excited about. And then tomorrow night, I might actually, after dinner, try to clean my countertops and the table, so that way on Friday, all I have to do is dust the living room, and then literally just have to do the floor, and that's it. So I want to definitely maybe start trying Thursday nights after dinner to like just go ahead and do the countertops and get them out of the way so I can focus more time to have with Cole on Fridays. And I just don't like being consumed for a long amount of time um, with cleaning right now. So yeah, we just made it to town and we're going to go walk. Yeah, as you guys can tell, it's really gloomy. There's like three cars parked here, but I don't see anybody. So I'm like, kind of like, what the heck? Where are these freaking people at? Because like, I don't know. Really? There's a glider plane landing right now, or some kind of plane that's really loud. So we're walking. Cole just fell asleep in the car, like right as we got here. So hopefully he sleeps the whole time that we walk. What you doing? You eating your strap? So somehow, through this bumpy trail, Cole went to sleep. Don't know how. <laughs> it's really hard to push the stroller through this gravel. It's quite challenging, but some places it's not as bad than other places, like this freaking mess. Sticks everywhere. They have other trails, but it'd be way too hard to push the stroller up those trails. So yeah. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to do when we get back to the house. I really don't want to think about it because I really don't want to go back to the house. <laughs> um, I would do something else today, but I don't know what to do. And it's not like it's real, real hot or else um, we could go up and get my mom's swimming pool, but it's not really that hot today. I mean, I'm burning the freak up right now, but that's just because I've been walking. It's kind of humid. Ugh, I hate when it's humid. And this weekend, it's supposed to be in the 90s. So, I'm either going to be inside or I'm going to be by the water. One or the other. And I definitely can't have coal out in that. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do. It's depressing. Because <laughs> my husband has to work on top of it but um monday we're supposed to be going to a water park so stay tuned for an exciting vlog then at least we'll be doing something i might see if my brother 
will let me borrow which I'm sure he will because he always does but I might borrow the GoPro and take it to the water park so we can get some water footage um, so I might do that that'd be really cool for a vlog for you guys so, yeah look at this the trail like just randomly goes out through the woods which I've been kind of like hurrying up through this part yeah, my husband's supposed to get me some mace. Um, and normally, like, me and Cole don't walk here by ourselves. Normally, like, I come here with my husband. But right now, there's, like, a lot of vehicles down by the hospital, which is, like, right over here. So, like, it's not too bad. Just not, like, hidden because it's in the woods. So, but oh well. Uh, this is our last walk. I've been definitely keeping my eye out. So, you know. Check out this water tower. I think I've showed it before, but it's freaking huge. Every time I see this water tower, it reminds me of that movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's like a scary movie. It's called um, Dark Water, I think, with Jennifer Conley in it. And it just, like, every time I see this water tower, it just kind of freaks me out because, like, that little girl in that movie, like, drowned in the water tower or something. She climbed up it, and then she drowned. But it's really, really creepy to think, like, all that water in there. And if you fell inside and got stuck in there, it would, like, be so freaky. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just was telling you guys that. But I'm about to wreck the stroller if I don't watch what I'm doing. So, But I think we're going to end the vlog because I think it's long enough. And, and we're not going to be doing anything else today. And um, who knows, I might start another vlog before the weekend hits. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. He's so freaking cute.